Hello everybody. Welcome you all to my new video. Actually, my today's video's title is Initial Complexities when you are very new, relatively new in Kafka and want to implement CDC. Okay? So you will find a lot of examples, videos in the YouTube, but when you try to follow these tutorials and compose files and Kafka settings, you might not be able to complete CDC, okay? There is a lot of reasons behind it. I will try to figure out some of those uh, which I faced when I tried to implement this. And I will show you how I overcome these problems, okay? So, what happened? I followed a lot of tutorials on the internet. They showed very easily, but they are very expert. And that's why they organized the environment in such a way. The environment was uh, managed in such a way. They didn't face these issues, okay? But when you will try, you, if you do not follow this procedure from the very beginning, and just kicking start with this Compose YML, you may fail into some problems, okay? Major <laughs> problems, actually. A slightly different configuration will take your whole day or several days, okay? So, first of all, I will suggest you just explore things, don't take tensions, or uh, don't hurry, don't be hurry, because it is not very simple. You must have to have some ideas on broker, on Kafka Connect. It is a huge thing, and registry, schema registry, and cave scale db okay and you will get these things by experiencing okay not just reading blog or just uh, following others okay you have to experience this so let me jump into my configuration first and what problem i faced i will tell you step by step okay so here is my whole structure that has for uh, data and my configuration structure. As you can see, I have my MySQL sync and MySQL source. Initially, I was trying with MySQL 7, MySQL 5, okay? So it brings me few problem that this table does not belong to information schema this 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 so i google it and i found that if i use my scale 8 it resolves some issues okay so i used my custom my school configuration because you have to enable your bin log and you have to allow your my to connect from other device that's why you have to bind ip 000 white listing your okay my school configuration my school ser service so that's why i built my own my school own configuration i will provide the whole thing and if you just uh, within few click you will got the cdc capture okay i promise i will provide all the configuration in the description of my video okay so another thing i would like to point out here you can use root password simply you can use root password nothing else and I missed out this auto increment true and use SSL false. Okay, if you not use use SSL false in MySQL 5, then it creates some issues. I don't know in MySQL 8 it will create or not, but in MySQL 5 it creates issues and it uh, actually suffered me a lot. Okay, so I make this use SSL false. Okay. And another important things, a lot of 
things looking uh, is uh, is very important for me but it will not for, for all because they are very expert in configuration and they are well known of these things but it's very important for me what should i use this topic when thinking okay so there is a relation correlation with thing configuration and source configuration okay like lo uh, look at the um, look at that you will got this so first of all you have to know that what will work and what will not if you use avro converter you have to use avro converter in your sink okay so there is some dependency version dependency you started work, uh, working with cdc uh, or lack of knowledge you can't be successed with the single wrong setting okay wrong configuration so you must have to uh, go multiple blocks and in the right way okay initially or um, uh, actually i first of all i want to get some success and then i want to explore more but if you uh, get failed in the very beginning that you got hopeless that it is very hard okay so i would like to uh, give you a good start so i will share i will share this link also in the um, in my video description if you use avro converter and in your sync you, if you use json converter you will not work so you can follow this i follow this i used avro converter both of both of my source converter configuration and avro configuration okay this is and okay my bad and another thing is uh okay this this uh, record value record value pk field and pk mode what is pk mode primary key mode okay and pk fields movie id you must have to this uh, have this movie id in your uh, source uh, schema or data then you will it will it will generate issues so another important thing is how do you get to know about these issues always you have to go to your uh, and loss it will tell you everything okay what you need to know about uh, uh, what you, know you have you will find these things from your connect loss or in your mysql logs okay just don't be hopeless follow the logs and try to solve this step by step okay so this log will explain it all what you need actually i'm very weak in english i beg your pardon bear with me you will uh, you probably will be uh, um, helped okay by me so th that's it i, I uh, initially uh, found find very confusing that what should i do what is the problem should i use my sql 7 or uh, is this right this converter blah 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 okay so this thing worked for me and or uh, i will provide this my sql sync source and all these things just you have to click and wait okay nothing else so you will got these things what is happening here so let me go to the mysql configuration suppose here is my docker file here i am taking this latest and my own configuration and my user sql look here is my user sql this user sql i am copying to the docker entry point dash in db dot d here if you put another sql it will execute it it will be executed when this mysql uh, uh, container uh, is starting okay and if you look at my configuration you will see my bin log service configuration here i, I put uh, manually from the internet here also my custom configuration i put it here and here is my bind i at this 000 okay so this is my configuration for sync but for my source i have another sql movies sql it will okay create this database and insert this data create database demo and use demo and insert them okay and create this table and create these fields and here is the movie id it will put this um data in my movie uh, table okay so that's it 
and if I show you my compose YML, you will see here is my zookeeper, okay, here is my broker, here is my schema registry, here is my connect, and here is my control center, here is my sync database configuration, okay, I am, uh, I am building this uh, sync uh, database so uh, database here with the compose file you can create this uh, mysql compose uh, with this mysql uh, instance um, detachedly okay and here is my source mysql configuration and here is case scale db okay that's it so that's it my compose ymail and what is the source configuration if i show you my source configuration here you can put your docker internal uh, ip address okay and i am using my user and password i put where my uh, uh, look when i composed my mysql instance here my root password okay so that's why i am using my root uh, database password is password and look here is my mysql server server name and you must have to whitelist your database uh, table and broker and this movies topic you can't use this movies topic actually when you are creating this source it will create two more topic here this little bit confusing uh, than others here i am this movie server movie servers dot demo dot movies okay if you go into this sql db okay where is my case called db and let me let me show you if you show topic here you will see three topics and if you print this topic movie server dot uh, demo dot movies it will print actual data but other topics just capture bin lock okay so don't confuse don't be confused and might be some other tutorial they have only one topic okay so don't be confused just try and you will get success and it is beautiful after working uh, with cdc and for the beginner i actually i'm uh, getting this change data capture working is is fantastic uh, experience for me actually okay so this is my source connection uh, configuration and if i show you my this was my source co configuration okay and this is my same configuration right now so i showed you earlier so, so that's it no it is it's just initial i can now play with this uh, i can now uh, play with this configuration but if it is not working the first time how can i go further step okay so mm, that's it so for you guys i would like to show you another thing this data folder here you can see my elastic search connect gdbc and debesium connector and this 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 connector are initially installed and stored this here that's why my docker compose yml in my connect i hide these things okay where i hide these things uh, it will not install in the next step but in the first time if you can if I uncomment this and this will install your Debezium connector, Kafka connector, and this this. Then after then, if after installing, you can apply this configuration. Okay. Initially, I thought I need not to install anything. Then I can only apply this configuration. No, brother. You have to install this plugin first, and then you have uh, option for configuration. Okay. So, and another thing after starting all things you, you may not find any connector here initially but you have to wait two or three minutes or restart your connector got it you have to keep patience it's a experiencing thing you can't find it uh, in others videos or blog okay you have to wait you have to keep patience and you have to go through you have to googling okay 
Well, um, that's it. So let me show you how it's working. Look, after running all this conf uh, configuration, I have my source uh, source database and my sync database. In my source database, if I sense here, finally, okay, you may see my okay we see my sync database okay now it's still here but if i refresh this it should show my finally okay that's how my sales data capture is so if it is benefited for you please do subscribe my channel and if if you have further questions please do ask me and i will provide this all these things actually i i need these things but i need i do not need this query actually so i delete this folder okay and here is my elastic configuration you can run this okay uh you, you, you can put your own elastic source url so it will work it will it will uh, transfer your data in the elastic search okay it it's it, i didn't, didn't didn't use this okay um, i i it is my draft actually okay and this is my note okay it is it is just a note so uh you do not i think you, you will not need this okay so that's it so now what will i do i can uh, push it in the github i will push it in the github and provide all these things and all you need to do just run here docker compose app and run this source configuration from here if you don't know go to here click on connect and upload configuration and next source and sync okay and after uh, after that it it will start working but before that in your uh, sync database as you can see as i have here movies sql but here i don't have any movies sql okay so i can also uh, you have to create manually this uh demo database only in the in your sync database because you have to just create the database not the table it will your cdc uh, uh, actually your connector will automatically create the tables not the database so first of all in your sync you can you have to create the database okay also then after you can apply this configuration from here and it will start working as expected okay so thank you uh, and ask me any question if you have